Welcome back to the Marijuana Chronicles! Don't do drugs. What's up, boys and girls? Ladies and gentlemen, it's Chuck, also known as Ask a Capper, bringing you an episode of the Marijuana Chronicles. Basically, I put out a video a couple months ago where I explained what, I was, what it was like growing up and doing drugs in high school, and I told a story about smoking weed in my electronics class. And I had fun telling the story because it was funny remembering the crazy stuff I did that was completely stupid and would get you totally shafted now. <laughs> it would get you shafted back then too, but you can't even think about getting away with now. But a lot of you guys said you liked that story and I wanted to tell a few more of the stories that I have. Now I wanna say that I don't condone drug use. I gotta say that I think because I can't go around promoting it, but I think marijuana should be legal. I don't smoke it personally, but I did smoke a lot of it in the past, pretty much an expert on it, and I have a bunch of funny stories that I will relate, some of them good, some of them bad, so it kind of gives a good you know, a look at the good and positive things of it and also the negative sides of it. And like I said, I also think that it should be legal, so at some point when it is legal, I would say if you're into experimenting with it, it's not a bad thing to try it. It's something you definitely don't want to smoke all the time because it will affect you. And if you're young, you don't want to smoke it because it definitely will stunt your mental growth and your ability. Unfortunately, I'm a victim of that. <laughs> it's so sad. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through this series. I'm going to explain. So I'm going to count this as episode one, though technically it's episode two. And I'll put a link to the first episode down below, which I'm going to call this episode one. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy this. Um, Gameplay is basically me playing some domination, only using my ride shield with my face and playing as the ultimate teammate, which I like to do. Rush those objectives, help the team out, call on those score streaks. So I was gonna do an extension today of smoking weed in class. So last time I talked about how I smoked weed in my electronics class and was really cool because it was like a vocational class. So we were there for like an hour and a half, two hours. And we were actually smoking in the class on like bongs that we made in the class. Like while our teacher was teaching, we were doing like, just like big bong hits, which is crazy. He couldn't see us because we were hiding behind the seats. But this story also relates to smoking weed in class. And it's whenever we found out that our teacher, she couldn't smell smoke. So I don't remember what class what, like um, it was. She told us at the beginning of the year that she couldn't. I think it was kind of like a safety reason. She has to explain that if you smell smoke, let me know because I can't smell it. And me and my friends were like, oh, this is so, so quality. So basically, like we learned this fact and we decided we were gonna give it a run. And like I was saying, I don't remember exactly what class it was. It wasn't history. I think it might've been science. She was a science teacher or something. But it was just your basic classroom, you know, with desks in a row and her desk at the end. And so um, she wasn't super, super like, like bright, I would say, or like on it because like, yeah. We always were like looking shady and she never called us out. But So basically we had a one hitter and if you smoke a one hitter, you know that if you, or if you smoke weed at all, you know, if you take a super huge hit, you're gonna like cough. And if you know what a one hitter is, it's basically enough for one hit, you take a hit. And then if you don't take a big enough hit or you, I mean, you take just enough in, you can actually hold it in until the smoke will actually disappear. Now. And that's what we did. And we did it just to say that we did it because we wanted to be those guys and say, hey, dude, let's do this. Let's try it, okay? Which it's the stupidest thing to do. I do not recommend this at all because getting caught smoking weed on school property, getting caught doing drugs on school property, it's like double the penalty now. It was back then too. It was like double penalty if you got caught with drugs on school property, which is some of my stories later on. I'll go on to explain some of the stupid things I did on school property, but this one was more just to say that we did it because we wanted to be cool and be like, yeah, yeah, we smoke weed in class, which is really the stupidest thing to do. I mean, seriously, like somebody could have narked on us. Somebody could have told the teacher on us, but like we did it. We got away with it. She wasn't and she could not smell smoke. It didn't really smell that bad either. We had some um, breath mints and things like that going on right away just so we wouldn't get caught. But yes, we did it. And yes, it was funny. And yes, we glad that we got away with it. I'm glad that I didn't get caught or busted at that point. <laughs> More stories will be incoming. 
<laughs> so yeah, that's what happened. That was my story. I thought it was pretty hilarious. I recommend not ever trying it. Children at home. Children at home never do this. So that's episode one of the Marijuana Chronicles. I have some more ridiculous stories of things that me and my friends did. I hope you guys enjoy them. I just thought it would be funny to tell this story, and my story is done. Hope you enjoyed this gameplay. Me playing with my face. I thought I was doing pretty well. Helping the team, covering those objectives, getting some point streaks, calling in those UAVs, being victorious. I didn't check the scoreboard. I'll put part two up, hopefully tomorrow, and I will continue Marijuana Chronicles tomorrow. And I got a voicemail Q&A coming in. And if you want to call in my voicemail number, it's on the screen. Give me a ring. Say anything you want. Troll me. I find it hilarious. So that's all I have to say about that. Game on, gamers. If you're new here and you haven't checked out some of the videos on the screen, I got my Borderlands 2 tips and tricks in the upper left-hand corner. My button remapping petition videos. If you haven't signed the button remapping petition, you should. And in the bottom corner, my can't stand up comedy sets. Check those out. And thank you for watching. Game on, gamers. Put Reese's Pieces in your butt creases.